Hello, my name is Lee Steele. Uh, this is a presentation on Antonio Quintilla, if I pronounce that right. I'm a ceramic artist based in East Yorkshire, uh, England. Uh, I'm studying for an MA, this is why I'm doing this for, uh, at Hull College. Uh, this is one of my artist reviews. Um, I hope you find it interesting. Thank you. Uh, yeah, he was born in 1964 and he had quite a, an interesting start for an artist, getting a, a degree in political science, uh, of all things. Uh, and then after some time started working at his family's pottery factory. So I can imagine him coming back from university and needing a job and then ceramics just sucking him in. He started specialising in lustreware. Um, we'll go into what lustreware is, or what it is in a bit. <clears throat> um, as you can see, where well, the object is um, showing off there, it's got a sheen to it. And he started working, putting this on quite traditional forms at first, and then started to branch out into his fantastic sculptures. Luster is quite a specialist part of ceramics. It's uh, the way you fire ceramics, the first firing, you fire the, the dried pottery, the dried clay up to a thousand C. You cool down, comes out, then you glaze it, and then it cools down, and that would normally be it. But with lustreware, that's the point you put the luster on it. Uh, it's liquid you paint on or pour on the top of it, and then that's fired again. Um, you get a lower temperature, uh, and you get these, some fantastic colours you can get, sort of these iridescence. Uh, tortoise shell look to them, seri transparent, all sorts. It's quite a specialist thing, it's not sort of my thing at all, but it's um, it gets some fantastic effects. And it's obviously spent a lot of time perfecting and making this subject his own in some lovely ways. I first came across Atelier um, through the powers of social media and Facebook. I saw his work um, on a several Facebook groups that were on together. Um, I, I think after uh, liking a few pieces of his work and liked a good piece of mine that um, uh, we're actually Facebook friends now. Um, this is the first piece I saw um, and it's, it's, it's right up my street really. It's sort of that sort of uh, engineered look and sculptural look to it with something organic sort of burst out and leaving its mark. Um, like some organics burst through it or out of it uh, and it's twisted and warped it as it's gone. That's what really attracted me at first. This is another uh, style of Atelier's work. Um, it's got that, it might have been something once but been pulled apart look to it. It reminds me of a force of nature explosion or, or uh, the, the, the power of the, of the waves or something. A twisted and mangled something, you're not quite sure what that is, you know, like a piece of wreckage almost, something that maybe was part of uh, maybe a car or something, it's a piece of metal work that's been pulled apart. And it reminds me of with you not seeing the force, the force is gone that's done the, the twisting to it. It reminds me of a fossil, so it's like a, a fossilized recording of an invisible force or something that's gone through the, gone through it or tore it to bits. Um, and I like that organicness, but with the edge of it could have been something once. This is another one that intrigued me. It's like a captured moment in time as a piece was smashed. So it's again a recording of the force, the rupture of the that shock wave hitting something. It's just that split second before it, gravity takes over and it hits the deck. I love that. And it's just sort of still sort of in the shape of things and it's going to be a second and it's going to be all over the floor. Um, a lot of energy there, a lot of work, got lots of energy in. And uh, I find it really fascinating what he's doing. I just wanted to think about how I find Tillyard's work so sort of resonates with mine and captures my interest about his work. It can be related into uh, what I'm doing. Um, again, my force of nature is possibly, it could be the sea partly uh, and certainly corrosion um, the elements are twisted and the surfaces are corroded and that look of it is something that may have been uh, something once and 
is now mangled or maybe even started to be reused. Um, so it's again the effects of a, an unseen force on objects uh, and how it can affect the not only the surface but the structure of an object. Um, also I like the fact that it's clay uh, and it can be made look like anything. I happen to like making it look like rusty metal. I tell you it looks like um, very shiny metal um, and I like that um, it's a bit of surprise that it's not actually what it looks like. Um, so that's my thoughts on Atelier's work. I'll be looking out for more of that.